Hello Peaches, welcome back to Dear Peachy. There are no rules when it comes to makeup. That's part of what makes it a fun. However, creating makeup looks that are flattering to your unique features requires a true understanding of your facial structure, especially your eyes. People often say that the eyes makeup is the soul to your entire look. But have you ever encountered times you were baffled that your eyeshadow failed to enhance your beauty? Even after following every step was shown in the YouTube tutorial carefully. Why? This is because our eye shape is different. It is crucial for us to understand our eyes before we can figure out the best way to accentuate them. If you're looking to up your eye makeup game and create looks that flatter you, our video today will guide you how to determine your eye shape and introduce you a few latest eyeshadow application techniques that you might want to try. Just like the way we identify our face shape, take a picture of your face facing straight to the camera. Then, observe your eyes. First, let's find out if you're having longer or shorter eye shape. Connect a line from the inner corner to the outer corner of your eye. Then, observe the width of your eyes. Connect from the fold of your double eyelid to your egg yolk cell. If you have longer eye shape, the length of your eyes is two times longer than the width of your eyes. If the length is shorter than two times of the width, it means that you have shorter eye shape. Second, the distance between eyes. If the distance between both of the inner corner is equal or similar to the length of the eye, it has normal distance between both eyes. For white set eyes, the distance between both inner corner is wider than the length of the eyes. If you have closed set eyes, it will be the opposite. Distance between two inner corners will be less than the length of our eyes. Closed set eyes tend to make one look sexier and alluring while wide set eyes will give a more youthful and adorable style. Either you're having close or wide set eyes. It is all up to you which style you prefer. Both styles hold the beauty within them. We are finally coming to your burning question. What is my eye shape? Before we get to that, let us ask you a few more questions to help you figure this out better. First, draw a straight line from your inner corner to outer corner. If the position of your inner corner is higher than the outer corner, please note it as A. If it is lower than your outer corner or both being on the same level, note it as B. Second, if your inner corner has a defined sharp edge, put it as A. Or you have a rounded edge inner corner, then it is B. Third, observe the shape of your upper lid. If the shape of your upper lid is curved, you will need to put yourself as A. If the shape of your upper lid is more of a flat curve or less curved, note it as B. Fourth, the outer corner. If the overall direction of your outer corner is pointing upwards, put yourself as A. Lastly, if the overall direction of your outer corner is pointing downwards, it is B. Lastly, please refer to this chart here. Find out which is your eye shape. Almond shape eyes are the most common eye shape and are easily adaptable to a whole world of eye makeup looks. Almond shaped eyes often taper upward slightly to a point at the outer eye. If you have almond shaped eyes, you are blessed with versatility. You can elevate your look with smoked out cat eyes or cute sparkly round eyes look. Upturned eyes. If you've got an upturned eye, aka the Jenny Kim of all eye shapes, the cat eyes. You can go for the fierce and feline look, the fox or cat eyes makeup. For downturned eyes, with this shape, it's important to lift, brighten and open the eyes, as some makeup looks can cause a droopy looking appearance. Round shape eyes. Did someone says eye goals? The round shape eyes have a lot of eyelid real estate to work with, meaning you have the space to create intricate eyeshadow looks like a cut crease or a halo eye look. While there is one eye shape that we did not mention in the figure just now, the hooded eyes. Your eye shape is hooded if you have a crease, but it isn't visible because it's hidden beneath a flap of skin. While hooded eyes regularly occur as you get older and your skin begins to lose its elasticity, it's also common to be born with. If you have hooded eyes, skip the thin, delicate liner as it tends to melt into the lid or smear. Instead, opt for a heavy layer of eyeliner along the upper lash for extra definition that will light up your eye, and add the inner corner liner to add more depth to the eyes. Now we have found our eye shapes. Let's see which eyeshadow application technique will look best on us. To be frank, there is no absolute hard and fast rule in deciding whichever technique enhances a particular type of eye shape. The truth is we need to practice and have fun in experimenting different techniques, so we can find the best way to emphasize and celebrate the beauty of our features. In this part, we have found three different ways of applying eyeshadow that might work particularly well for you. 
The first technique we will be introducing is the most common and easiest way of enhancing your eye shape. It works well for majority of the eyes, and it's easy to learn for makeup newbies. In this tutorial, we found the China Douyin Guru named Rita to show you guys how to make the most of our eyes. Rita says that she notices a very common misunderstanding among makeup beginners. That is applying eyeshadow with light colors at the inner corner, and applying too much of dark color eyeshadow at the end of our eyes. Doing your eye makeup in such way will not help the beauty of your eyes shine through. It makes one look tired and weary. So in this video, she will guide you how to apply eyeshadow to accentuate them. First, pick eyeshadow colors that are with low saturation, or shades that are similar to your nose contour powder. This will be used for the base color of your eyeshadow. Then, use your index finger to feel the eye socket area like this. Apply the base color shadow on the outer area of eye socket. Use a clean brush and blend out the edges to make it look natural. For lower lid eyeshadow, use the same eyeshadow color. Apply it from the outer end of your lower lash line towards the inner corner. Make sure the eyeshadow is applied all over the egg yolk cell area. Next, pick a darker brown eyeshadow shade. Apply it at the lash line area to deepen the shadows. Blend them out in upward motion like this. If you would like to deepen the shadows for your lower lid, Apply the same shade at the outer corner of your lower lash line. Next, to highlight the egg yolk cell, take a tiny bit of concealer and dab it at the center of it. Lastly, to make your eyes pop, add some shiny eyeshadow following the curve of your crease, so it will shine when you are blinking. Never forget your egg yolk cell. Dab some at the center. For eyeliner, Rita suggests that it is best to wear half eyeliner for daily look, this is because half eyeliner are more natural and easier to apply than the full wing style. Rita usually prefers the gel liner over liquid liner, because the liner will look more soft and natural. Not only that, it also saves you time from blending out the harsh lines with eyeshadows if you're using liquid liner. Before you begin to fill in your eyeliner, get yourself a puff sponge like this. Hold it with your fingers and press lightly to lift the skin area. Make sure that it is taut to start filling. Your liner should start at the outer rim of your iris. From here, extend a straight line to elongate your eye shape. So this is how the eyeliner will look. You can then fix the liner by using your nail to make the end look sharper. You might need to be a little quick for this step before the gel liner dries up. This eyeliner style is perfect and natural, no matter if you're opening or closing your eyes. Lastly, she is going to curl her lashes before putting on mascara on them. If you have shorter lashes, Rita says you can put on a few individual falses to enhance your eyes. She mentions that if you are not skillful enough in drawing fake lower lashes, it's better to not do anything to it. If you're able to complete the steps above, we believe your eyes will surely be perfect for everyday look. In the following tutorial, we are going to present some new eyeshadow techniques that you might not heard before. They are highly discussed widely in the China beauty world. Many has tried these techniques and are amazed at the effect that they can do to our eyes. These latest and unique eyeshadow techniques are the parallelogram shape eyeshadow and the inverted triangle eyeshadow technique. We have found the China Douyin makeup influencer named Lily to show you how she uses both techniques to enhance her eyes. Lily says that this tutorial is very easy to follow, so it is impossible for you to not able to achieve this look. Well, let's see. The first eyeshadow technique, the parallelogram shape, or in other words, the slanted square shape. We will start by finding the placement of the eyeshadow. By using the handle of the brush, place it directly on the line aligning the inner rim of your iris. Then, from the distance between your brow to the middle of your iris, find the middle spot in between them. Connect a slanted straight line from the spot to the inner corner area like this. Next, copy paste the slanted line to the outer corner of your eyes. Extend a line from the spot just now to connect to the other end of the line. Find the lowest point of your egg yolk cell. Then extend a line from it to connect with the line that is at the inner corner area to form a parallelogram like this. The parallelogram shape can actually extend the eyelid space at the end of our eyes, thus accentuate its proportion to our face. For brows, you can just fill in a straight brows with a slight arch to match with this eyeshadow style. You can extend the end of the brows longer too. Then, get a light nude shade like this to set it as the base of color of the lid. Blend it all over the upper lid within the lines that you have filled just now. By using a smaller brush, Take the same shade and apply all over the egg yolk cell area. For the end of your eyes, fill it in with the same shade by following the slanted line. Also, deepens the shadow at the front part of your upper lid too. 
Next, she is emphasizing the shadows of her egg yolk cell by using a liner pen. Just fill in a straight line following the groove of the eye fat. Highlight the center of the egg yolk cell with a pinkish highlighter gel pen. For eyeliner, use a brown gel liner and fill in the inner lash line. Once you have filled in the sparse area between the lashes, the liner will look great. Extend a lifted shape liner at the end of your eyes. Fill in the inner corner liner. Continue the liner from the middle of your iris and extend it out like this. Once the line has reached the outer lash line, connect it to your outer corner. The inner pinkish part of your outer lash line shown here will be left blank. This trick here can help our eyes to look brighter. With the pinkish highlighter gel liner just now, fill in the blank area to highlight it. Then, use a liquid liner and draw a winged eyeliner at the outer corner. Try to start drawing the liner at the outer parts of your double lid folds. This is to avoid the folds to affect the shape of your liner. Apply mascara primer. Lily is also adding individual lashes to fill up the sparse areas of her lashes. For fake lower lashes, remember to start drawing it at the eyeliner that you filled in just now. The fake lower lashes near the inner corner should be shorter. Take some glittery eyeshadow and add it at the inner corner of your egg yolk cell. This step can help to elongate the length of your eyes too. Lily also says that this parallelogram eyeshadow technique suits people with square, round or shorter face shapes. Coming to the next eyeshadow technique, the inverted triangle eyeshadow technique. For brows that goes well with this style, you can try to go for the straight brows without any arch. The head of the brows can be filled in to look thicker. You can draw a few strokes at the front to fake the thickness of it. First, let's find the point of the inverted triangle. By following the midpoint of your iris, and extend all the way down to the lowest point of your AGO cell. That's the spot for your inverted triangle. Join this dot to the front and the end of your brows, and fill in a line between them. With the same light brown shade just now, set it as the base color for your lid. Apply it all over your upper lid within the line that you have filled. Remember to blend it up to your brow bone with a slightly darker brown shade. Deepens the shadows of the two lines here. This step here is to reduce the distance between your eyes and your brows. Change to a smaller brush. Use the same shade and fill in the lower lid area by following the shape that you have drawn just now. With the same shade, add more shadows within the folds of your double lid. Brush over your nose bridge with the excess powder. Brush it in a C-shape motion to create shadows for your nose bridge and enhance it to look more prominent. Next, fill in the egg yolk cell liner. The shape of the egg yolk cell is wider in the middle area and narrower at both ends. Use the same highlighter gel liner and apply it at the center of your egg yolk cell. The shape of this egg yolk cell style is more of a U-shape, so it will help to reduce the length of your mid-face. Fill in the inner eyeliner with a brown gel liner and extend a straight line at the outer corner. Clean up the edges with your nails to enhance the shape of your eyes, fill in the part right above your iris to thicken the liner. Fill in the lower liner starting from the middle of your iris and extend a line with a light hand. Use some eyeshadow and add at the liner to smudge out the edges to make it look more natural. Curl your lashes before applying mascara. Lily says you should put more focus at the middle part of your upper lashes. Make sure it stands out from the side parts of the lashes. The lower lashes will follow the same too. The middle lower lashes will be longer than the others. You can thicken the fake lower lashes in the middle part to make them look more prominent. Enhance the eyeliner with the liquid liner. If you want something more, you can always add individual lashes, but always remember to add the longer length ones at the middle. By doing this, the lashes can really increase the width of our eyes. Finally, add a little shimmery or glitter at the center of your egg yolk cell. The inverted triangle eyeshadow can really improve the proportion of the middle third of our face. You can surely try both of these styles and see which one suits you the most. Or who knows, maybe both flatters your eye shape? If you have upturned eyes like Jenny from Blackpink, the parallelogram eyeshadow technique will look great on you. Or your eyes are like Lisa's, round and bright. You can go for the inverted triangle technique. Well, we know some of our peaches might be wondering if these techniques are working on monoliths. How can we leave you guys out? If you want to know more eyeshadow techniques that suits you, please click this video here to find out. There are a number of eye shapes out there, and you might have one or a combination of two types. For example, you might have hooded eyes that are also downturned. It's important to realize that no matter what eye shape you have, all are beautiful. Experimenting with different makeup tricks and techniques needs to be fun and something you enjoy, as it will further your knowledge on the best ways to accentuate your individual eye shape. Try everything you feel like trying. There really is no limit to what you can create when you're in the mood to be playful with your eye makeup. 
We hope you find our video helpful. Comment to let us know if you tried out any of these techniques and which suits your eye shape the most. We would like to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!